Hello, comrades. My name is Mr. Mokulever, and today we have a new campaign in which we are going to play the mod called Road to 56. So, I was recommended to play several different countries within maybe the Road to 56, but today we're going to choose a country that I was not planning on doing until probably half an hour ago. So, anyways, single player, um, ignore the flag for now because... Well, we're, we're going to be playing as the Soviet Union. Someone wanted me to play as the Soviet Union. I, honestly, I did want to play as uh, Austria. I was going to play as Austria. I practiced playing as Austria and trying to reform the Austro-Hungarian Empire. But I did notice that about four months ago, at the time of this recording, I already did another Austrian gameplay. And even though it's already four months ago... It would have just been a little too soon. I gotta give Austria some time to breathe first before I jump back in into Austria's arms. But anyways, yes, we are playing another hard leftist uh, ideolo ideological country. So, we're gonna play as the Soviet Union, but... But, as the thumbnail has shown, if you looked at the thumbnail, the Papa Stalin isn't gonna stay here for all this time. Uh, my goal is to get Trotsky, but before we begin, I... Let's just take a look at all the countries. Is anyone getting buffed? Anyone getting debuffed? Uh, I think I'm going to leave everyone on default. Uh, I guess the, for the Netherlands, I can choose a different tree. Man the guns or road to 56 focus tree. All right. Just for the Netherlands, apparently. Uh, everyone else, though. Foreign policy. Yeah, this is just pretty much all the same. I am leaving on historical AI just because... I've heard that the Germans are just extremely strong, and I have played as a Soviet Union before against the Germans in this AI, but I just want to make sure that everything is okay. I'll put it like that. Anyways, typical Soviet stuff. Let's go ahead and get some of these mobile divisions out of here. I want all your crappy like divisions. Uh, you guys, you stay over here. And this is basically what we're left with. 86 regular divisions to be split amongst two fronts. Cool. Alright, so you guys are will be Coast Guards already. Make it nice and easy. Put that on below. Sign you to someone else. Um, who is someone near the bottom that we could use? Uh, hmm. Defensive person. Hey, he's, he's an old guard. That actually might not be bad. Let's do that. This guy is probably not going to get a lot of experience. Anyways, it's fine with me. Let's go ahead and just... Tell him to guard, uh... Yeah, we'll tell him to do that, too. Cool. All that area. He has 18 divisions, so that's not bad. Leningrad, do that. Just pretty much do anything that has water close to it. Cool. Oh. And that one, too. Resistance as well. And, of course, the Japanese. Since it's on historical, I like I said, I don't really trust what the German AI will do. They can, the German AI can be very, very strong since the latest update, but we'll see what happens. For horses, uh, I really don't want to use all these horses. Give me one army. One full army. This will be the army in Asia. Just in case. Because this is Road to 56. You never know what people might just end up doing. Uh, we'll give you a Nikolai. Cool. Put you under him. Under... Mm, Clement Voroshilov. Sure. I mean, he's an old guard and politically connected. I don't really like that. I don't like either one of these two. Uh, but it looks like it's either one of these three, really, that are all the same. I'll do Clement just because I already have him here. Uh, actually, unyielded defender is a pretty good thing to have. Anyways... Just defend against Manchuria. They have, it looks like they, I don't know if this is Road to 56 updated, but the front line has been definitely changed. I think that was actually just a Hoi 4 thing in general. Let's come back over here. Um, da -da -dum -dum -dum. 16. Oh, take those guys. Get a bunch more infantry. I don't want to use up all the Mountaineers for a single army. Come over there. 38. 18. Put you back in. 20. Cool. Both of you come over here. And this will be the main front. 
led by Mikhail Tukachevsky. Ah, uh, he's probably not going to make it very far. But we'll see what happens. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the Great Purge. The Focus Tree is different, a little different than the Vanilla Hoi 4 uh, Focus Tree for the, for the Soviet Union, of course. So, ooh, Vasily, Vasily. Cool. And I'll put this guy under, actually, M Markian. Oh, winter x -ray. Awesome. So that'll be the main front. We'll pretty much just put you against Poland because no one likes the Polish. You guys are just an extra army. Actually, for the cavalry, I'm just going to convert. Uh, I really don't care for cavalry that much. They're not bad. I'm just going to convert you all to regular infantry divisions. Hmm. Throw money here. Oh, wait. I need... Throw two more and then do... I should have done that earlier. Oh, crap. Yeah. Now, all of you join him. There you go. And actually, yeah, just join. Yeah, just join him too. We'll create another Finnish army eventually. It'll be fine. No worries. God dang it. And there you go. Armies, we need leaders. Andre. Followed up with. Oh, I meant to give him. Eh, whatever. And we have a couple guys here, but honestly, I don't need all these crappy oh well, these are actually not bad they're 18 combat width this is actually not bad but i don't need all these tank divisions since i really don't believe in using light tanks so i'll get rid of half of those guys get a little bit more manpower back not really though six light tank divisions with a motorized isn't bad uh we'll put them under zukov because everyone loves zukov right there you go and of course i'm going to send these guys probably to nationalists oh no republican spain if i can Research, we do. We are the Soviet Union, and because this is the road to 56 mod, we do have a couple of national spirits that do hurt us. So it's good to keep that in mind. We need better light tanks. We need to do land doctrine, which I'll do next. But yeah, we got Trotsky at plot, which is good. We have Home of the Revolution, low literacy rate, which hurts our research speed, of course. Risk of disease, which obviously isn't good. Revolutionized industry, which helps us with more factory output. And poor rail networks. Rail networks, yeah. So, um, however, here's something important to know. When you play the Road to 56 mod, to do social welfare, which is a pretty good thing, you cannot have more than 100 factories. Actually, you can't have 100 factories. So, you can get up to 99, but that's pretty much it. So, what we're going to do... Let's see. I can't do this yet. More than 100 factories. Well, I only have 88. If I give it a... You know what, we're probably going to do continue the five-year plan first. That's what we're going to do. And then, we have 83. Actually, I really need to know, first of all, how many things we have. Because I don't want to make too many factories. Uh, we'll do some extra. I can make a few, though. So, we'll do Moscow first. And then, we're just going to build up quite a bit of infrastructure in places that really need it. Actually, if I do this, I still get more steel. Nice. Because we're going to build up a lot in Moscow. Uh, actually, where can we build the most factories? We can build four over here. Three, two, two over here. One over here, three. Hmm. Oh, down here has up to four as well. It's Stalingrad. Let's do Stalingrad. I'm going to build up a lot of infrastructure. I mean, ultimately, it really doesn't matter. I can get use your more chromium. Just We're going to build a lot of infrastructure to begin with and yes we do have a debuff to infrastructure and i will be building a lot more air bases as well but you know you gotta do what you gotta do actually yeah that place definitely needs that silos just i gotta make sure we don't build too much industry in the beginning uh guns are good artillery light tanks okay for now fighters are garbage i want to get rid of those i need heavy fighters which we don't uh, heavy bombers wait uh, these are these are uh, strategic bombers, which are good to have. Oh, we have a crappy navy as well. Um, just make whatever you can. You can. It just it really doesn't matter. I'm honestly probably going to destroy all these ships eventually, anyways. Oh goodness, these are pretty bad ships. Just make whatever and put them all to deploy in Leningrad, because that's usually where I like to put all of my naval stuff. 
Leningrad, Leningrad. Just put them all there because we're going to abuse our navy and get more naval XP. That's really what I care about them for. Great. All right. Free military factories. We're going to need a lot of guns. We're going to need a crap ton of guns. A lot of support equipment and then a lot of artillery. That's not bad. Put light tanks. We're going to focus. You know what? Let's try something different this time. I'm going to try to maybe use heavy tanks. Why not? Why not try to use heavy tanks? But that means we need to switch to heavy tanks now. Oh, we, we, haven't, we don't have a research. Never mind. Never mind. And then for early submarine hulls, it really doesn't matter. Just, actually, these guys are garbage anyways. Surface detection. Torpedo attack is 18. 19.9. 18, 19.9. Uh, uh, let's, let's take a look. So you got a torpedo and a crappy engine. And you got a torpedo, a crappy engine, and a mine laying tubes. I'm making these. Just switch it over. No one cares. Good, good, good. No divisions and basic training. Infantry divisions are at 18 combat width. Put that, put that. Give me about 12 divisions on over here. And then make another set of six in Asia. That should be pretty good by the time we go to war. So, let's go ahead and begin. And start the day, even though it's already been like 11 minutes. Even though I'm going to reorganize all of our fleets together. Cool. Please, come to Leningrad, friends. Everyone. Oh, the Ghost Plan Industrial Report for the year 1935. Ghost Plan is happy to report to the Central Committee that the current five-year plan is currently ahead of schedule. Last year, we've made huge strides in our steel production, suppressing many other countries in production. Um, okay. We've also increased our oil and coal production over last year's totals. Gospelin, or Gospelin, is revolutionizing our great nation from a rural peasantry to an industrial powerhouse, rivaling those capitalist bastards in the West. Though, with that said, Gospelin has a question for the Central Committee. Should we still heavily focus on production goals or switch some resources to expanding civilian industries? Well, oh crap, we already have 107? Oh no, we can't have that. I need social welfare. Oh wait, we can do that. Wait, more than 100 factories. More factories than 100? For some reason, when I tried this earlier, it wasn't available. Well? Huh. Well, anyways. Focus on this. Uh, I saw the AI do this. I don't want to lose political power, so we're just going to keep focusing on the production goals. We lose research speed, consumer goods, but we get more factory output for 440 days. Huh, really? Oh, see, it's gone again. More than 100 factories. It's exited out. We have only... 97. That must be because we were trading a whole bunch. That's probably why. So, I mean, I am still trying to build up some factories here. So we need more than 100. This is really odd, because I was pretty sure that you couldn't have more than 100. But you know what? Maybe I'm just going crazy. I'm probably just going crazy. So. But social welfare is pretty good for this country. That's a pretty good focus for us. Um, yeah, other than that, our ships are getting all together. We're getting all happy in, into one group. I'm not going to combine them. Oh, well, these are oh, kind of... What's our deficit? Oh, 50,000 guns in a deficit. About 700 artillery pieces in a deficit, as well as support equipment. But support equipment will be okay. I don't mind making an, a very large extra supply of support equipment, because that never gets out of date. And you can always use it, especially when you go to war with... uh. The Finns, or the Germans, or someone like that. Something crazy like that. Anyways, planes. Trash them. Wait, we have carrier planes? Hold on. Just trash them for now. If I trash them, I'm going to get rid of the air wings. We, do we have a carrier? No, I don't think we have a carrier. Hold on. Yeah, we don't have any carriers, but we have... Torpedo bombers. Cool. Uh, Gosplan is reporting that railway slowdowns are preventing production quotas and deliveries from being filled in a timely manner, leading to a slowdown in production across the board. Or broad. Across the broad. Ooh, there's a woman here. They say that the current railway system can't keep up with the current size of our industry and the tonnage needed to be shipped through it. Ooh, a little bit of slowdown. Oh well, so be it. You know, there's not much you can do about it. Alright, so we got 2,000 size air base here. Do that. Much like with our ships, we're going to abuse our Air Force. Ah. Nothing like a little bit of abuse to keep you happy. Wow. I can't believe I just said that. Anyways. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Uh, you guys are already here. You can't really do very much about it. 
I'm actually going to separate you guys off. Uh, I'll put you under someone else for you to just train until you don't exist. So, yeah. Go ahead, guys. If you need to do that, go right ahead. For you guys, we'll put you under someone random. Well, not really random. Sure, bombardment. Philippe. Great. So, basically, with the Soviet Union in the road to 56, okay, how did you fall ill already? Anyways, uh, what you want to do to get Trotsky, I've not actually done this yet, is you want to do the Great Purge. If you don't want Trotsky, if you do the Great Purge, you can still get Trotsky, but it says a series of show trials will be held to purge suspected Trotskyite ministers and leaders. The number of purges completed will affect the likelihood of renewed civil war and scale the effective from officers purged. Not doing the Great Purge focus will lead to civil war and the potential return of Leon Trotsky from exile. So we're just basically going to wait and see what happens when we have a civil war. And eventually we do want to form a fifth column. And apparently I have to get Nikolai Yevz Yezhov in our cabinet. Okay. So, NKVD agents will work in secret on overthrowing the Stalinist regime and to bring back Trotsky to lead. The choices we make leading up to the coup will change the effects of the focus. Certain choices will result in a higher post-coup instability and the opportunity for a counter-coup to take place, while other choices will reduce post-coup instability at the cost of other negative effects. Counter-coup? What does this mean? A communist regime will be overthrown? Huh. I definitely don't want that. I would definitely want a Trotsky Trotskyite of victory. War on industry, huh? Cool. Anyways, uh, let's see. I do want social warfare because it takes 35 days. A little more stability. A little more factory output. But you get, eventually, more education. Mass immunizations. For this one, you have to have more than 105 factories. That's fine. Let's do that. I just... You know... I tried this earlier, I couldn't do social welfare because I had too many factories. I think that was really just a bug, so uh, maybe it's fixed now. I don't know, I played it like 40 minutes ago at this point, 40, 50 minutes ago, but whatever. No one gets effects from indus industry slowed down, very good. Nice, nice, nice. And we need Yezov, we need, uh, where is he? There's Molotov, ah, oh, here we are, Prince of Terror. Only cost 75. Hmm, interesting. And how much political power do we get a day? 0.94. Great. Alright, so that's good. Nice, now we can form a fifth column. But we have to do this before January 23rd, 1937. So, with our current focus, social welfare, it only takes 35 days. This one will take 70, so if we do another research slot... Or remove risk of disease, actually. Risk of disease hurts our monthly population, division recovery rate, factory output. That's not terrible. I kind of want more education first, so we can research things faster. And then we'll do the 100-day plot. Or the focus. Cool. Uh, our ships are doing what they need to do. Uh, yeah, do that if you need to do it. Let's see. Oh, we need that. Whatever, you know. Whatever. And actually, since we're here, we might as well try to... Oh, yeah. I wanted to upgrade some ships, but it doesn't look like... Oh, and now our cities are seemingly gripped in outbreaks of many deadly diseases. Our doctors recommend an immediate mass immunization program to take place nationwide before outbreaks get any worse. Ooh, that's not good, actually. That's really not good. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. That. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of this yet. I, I will get rid of this, though, because I don't care for it. Oh, yeah, these things. Hold on. These things need to get replaced. Uh, just do that. Honestly, I'm probably just going to delete these anyways. Ooh, social welfare. Great, great, great. I could do... Oh, it's 70 days. Huh, but... Uh, field hospitals. Revolutionary industry. Low literacy. Uh, actually, if I go to war, or have a civil war with Trotsky... Hmm. Then I would still get the debuffs from the national spirit that my enemy will also get. So let's do this then. Form a fifth column. And... Go 70 days. How many days do I have left? And you know, just in case, let's just do form a fifth column. That sounds like fun, right? A fifth column sounds like fun. No one's ever been hurt by a fifth column. 
Yezov is forming a coalition to overthrow Stalin. Nikolai Yezov has started to fear that his position at the NKVD might be in jeopardy, and that Stalin might remove him from his current office or worse. He's now using the activities that are currently directed towards finding people who are enemies of the state, and instead using the activities as cover for his current plans to recruit officers and officials into a scheme to remove Stalin from power. We must move quickly. And we're still building more civilian factories, which is good, 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 good. Just kind of waiting for the civil war here to spawn too. Oh, hey, our ships are... Um, moving to Khabarovsk. Oh, you're going all... Oh, dude. oh, goodness, you're coming all the way over there. Well, let's disable that one. As well as that one. Oh, they're pretty garbage. Here, we'll disable that one, that one. Eh, that one's okay, I guess. Crimea as well as Rostov. Is okay. Leningrad obviously is where we really want them to go. Vermonsk is okay. Better than Arkhangelsk. And over there. Nice. Very good. Very nice. Forming a fifth column. I love that Nikolai here has no picture. He does not exist. That's how good he is. Second London Naval Treaty signed. Great. NKVD agents have made contact with Trotsky and are in the process of getting him back into Russia secretly. Though this will take time as we have to be careful not to be found out by any foreign agents along the way or Stalin loyalists. Having Trotsky back to lead will give our coup much needed legitimacy and experienced leadership. Great! And that was within, within 20 days. What is this? Social welfare. I love social welfare. Just for the people. I, one thing I do love about Road to 56 is that every, like, almost probably, almost Every nation has a focus tree that they can use and be specialized in, which is really, really awesome. Czechoslovakia, e even if you don't have the DLC, has its own focus tree. Uh, Austria obviously does. Hungary has, I think, the old one, the same vanilla one, pretty much. Ooh. Proposal from the Chinese Soviet Republic. Uh, we recently received a proposal from Mao Zedong's representative, stating, st yeah, stating that they would like to seek our permission to establish another government in the Northwest region of China and use their support to fight against Japanese in Kuomintang. Work with the Kuomintang anyways? Uh, I could support the Chinese, the Chinese Soviet Republic. Or not. I think this is... Yeah, I think this is a historical one. Yeah. Marco, Marco Polo Bridge. Um, establish another government in the North West. Over here. Uh, and use our support to fight against Japanese. Uh, tell them, yeah, you, you might need help against Japanese, but okay then, they just defied, defied our orders. Despite our good intention, Mao Zedong has refused to allow our order and decided to form the Grand Northwest Union anyways. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. Well then, you do you. Don't ask me for any support when we're done. Uh, I'm gonna go with right now. 50% uh, factory output is the only difference. 5% more factory output. Well, I am playing the Soviet Union, so we probably don't need that. I'm gonna go with dispersed. Cool. And what we're gonna do next is probably try to get. Oh. Hmm. Silent workhorse. I probably want Molotov so we get more political power. Anyways, Andre of. Vlasov wants to offer some additional help. While Vlasov was brought in for a little sit-down by the NKVD, he seemed to show great interest in our plot and wanted to lend all the help he could, though he seemed a little too interested in details by our agent's accounts. Um, ooh, this is, this is a tough one. <clears throat> you know what? We could probably use all the systems we can get, so we'll let him in, but he might eventually do some sort of, uh, <clears throat> Counter coup, which uh, seems very interesting. The right people are in the government in high command to overthrow the communist regime. Mutually exclusive with Trotskyite victory. Huh. I wonder if the Road to 56 mod for Russia has an actual focus tree for like the Russian Empire or the Empire of Russia or whatever. That would be really cool if they do. Alright. Oh, in contact with political exiles, our NKVD agents have suggested that smuggling in excommunicated communists and other political figures that were exiled might lend to a more stable post-coup government. This would also lend international legitimacy to our government in the world's eyes. Yes. New Soviet state, please. God, I hope I'm doing this right. Anyways, 
Hmm. We only get 0.96. How is our supply? We're doing better on guns. We got about 10,000 more guns. Artillery is getting better. Support equipment is doing pretty decently. Not bad, not bad. Do that. Our naval XP is not doing bad either. We get about 0.477 a day. Guns, guns, guns. Give me five more factories on guns. We could probably use those. We make about 70 a day, which is pretty good. At least, you know, for infantry equipment. So, yeah, not bad, not bad. Contact, contact Exo Generals. Oh, yes. This might lend to more stable post coup military. This is basically the same thing except generals instead of officials. And an excellent idea. And further railway slowdowns. Gospel Plan is reporting. Oh. Okay. Cool. Great. Thanks. It's reporting that railway slowdowns are still preventing map production quotas, and deliveries are being filled in a timely manner, leading to a slowdown in production across the board. Well, this sentence needs a comma here. Or something not. Yeah, there's no subject there. Or verb. Anyways, the current railway system can't keep up with the current size of our industry and the tonnage you needed to be shipped through it. Gospen recommended improve recommended improving it as soon as possible lose a little bit of political power industry slowdown well you can't stop you can't change everything uh let's get to some i'm gonna make some heavy tanks uh it does cost more to produce tanks let's see heavy tanks are on the right oh yeah it's more than triple the cost of making a heavy tank division but the defense is better you get 15 percent more hardness three times as much heart attack six seven times more armor same reliability about a little less than double fuel usage, which is fine with the Soviet Union. Better, much better piercing. Half the speed, which is still better than infantry. Soft attack is a little better, as well as breakthrough. Uh, I want to do that. And what I'm going to do is use my land doctrine. I don't want to go with mass assault. I really don't. But I'm planning on maybe using tanks. Infantry is here just to hold the line. Blitzkrieg. Mobile warfare. Mobile infantry. Um, organization, modern blitzkrieg, planning speed, backhand blow, or I could do, of course, this tried and choose, um, this one. Honestly, I'll probably just go with superior firepower, because we're going to have so much infantry, it's not even going to be funny that I'm going to need this. Uh, for now, go with light tanks, we, we will be researching heavy tanks, but whatever. Then why did I research light tanks then? Eh, whatever. We did pass up the... BT7 development, so we got a research bonus for BT7, whatever, or it's already done. And we got the Morals of Design Bureau. Found the PCDI. Huh, gain national spirit, conscription laws, minus 25%. That's not bad. Alright, well, interesting, very interesting. Oh, we got some modified government. Oh, we can, I want to do war economy. We can go straight to war economy, which I think is not very fair to everyone else, but that's okay. Who said I was going to be fair to everyone else? Anyways, uh, how is our supply situation? We're doing fine, we just need more guns. And we have formed a fifth column. Now, I don't know what's going to happen now. Oh. We have internal chaos. Having ousted the tyrant Joseph Stalin and purging his cronies and deplorable yes-men, we can finally begin to rebuild the Soviet Union in an image that would make both Lenin and Marx proud. This will not be an easy task, but the collective strength of the workers will unite to accomplish this task. So, apparently we have this focus. Oh, we changed our... We're the Russian SFSR. Wait. Nikolai is now leading... What the hell happened to St Stalin? There's no... I guess there's no civil war. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have opposition officers purged until 1941. Civilian construction speed. Everything has been debuffed. We have internal chaos. We get way less political power. Mobilization speed. Division recovery rate. And stability. Oh my goodness. But we do have better high command and political advisor costs. Industrial slowdown. Okay. Well, let's get do this so we can get we can modify our internal chaos, and then probably do some immunization things. I really, really thought here. Oh, this is a much cheaper recruit. Oh yes, baby, give me Molotov. I'm gonna need more political power. I was really thinking that would be some sort of civil war. So Stalin has been removed from power, arrested, promptly executed already by members of the Communist Party. Nikolai Yezhov walked into Stalin's office with NKVD agents and put him under arrest while listing off crimes he had committed against the Russian people. A trial took place the next day, uh, where he was sentenced to death and hung, and he changed that verb, later that afternoon. Many officials in the Russian government who were accused of participating in Stalin's crimes are in the process of being rounded up and jailed or executed. No one knows 
who will now lead the Russian SFSR. Rumor has it that Nikolai has extended an invitation for Tarasky to come back and lead. The false revolutionary is dead. I wish you had a picture here. And I like that, actually, you're only a little more than 50%... Uh, uh, what do you call that? Ideologically... Empower. Whatever. Trotsky has returned! After his long journey back from the XL, Trotsky has returned to lead the Russian SFR. He'll bring hope to workers across the world, as well as set the re revolution back on track. So we get permanent revolutionaries, so we lose political power, god dang it. Subversive activities costs, and wait, justify wartime goal. Oh, well, we change our flag. We've got Mr. Trotsky Daddy in charge. No more Papa Stalin. No, no, no. Why am I talking like this? This is a terrible accent. I was really hoping we'd have a civil war, but I guess not. Well, that might have really just damaged us in the long run, but that's okay. Who knows? This crazy guy, you never know what might what he might just do. But that's pretty much all the time for we have today. Uh, our stability has been really hit. We get almost no political power now. We just had the Olympic Games, and at this point, we have a slightly faster industry. So with that in mind, guys, uh, leave a like. If you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue with a different communist leader in Russia as we will export communism all over this great globe. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.